All right, so today I'm going to show you how to kick players when they die. So you can kick them out of the game rather than let them respawn. And I'm also going to add a overhead billboard GUI to each of the players so you can see how long they've been in the world. So that's two pretty cool things. Let's go to server script service and let's add a script and let's call that kick manager. Kick MGR. All right, in my kick manager, I'm going to make a couple functions. Say local function on character removing. All right, so this is when our character dies. This is what we're going to do stuff here. I'm also going to do a function for on player added, and the player will get passed into that. And now I'm going to use the game players service player added event and connect it to the on player added. So when a player enters a game, this is going to be called, I'm gonna add two things to this. Um, one thing right away, I'll add just the removing part. So I'm gonna do the player character removing event. Ah, removing, there we go, character removing. And then I'll connect it to on character removing and get rid of those extra parentheses. So that'll be good. What else? I don't have to do anything else there. Let me get rid of that. Get rid of that space. All right. So then, and then on character removing will be called when we die. So there, I need to get my player again because that doesn't get passed in. Uh, only the character does. So I'll do game players. Get player from character. We do have the character that char that got passed in. So once we have a player, we can just kick them and give a message. We say, you died. That was your punishment. You got kicked. All right, let's go over to our world. Get a toolbox. I'll go to the toolbox. Get a zombie. Let's make the zombie really deadly so we don't have to wait very long to die. I'm going to go open up Drooling Zombie. Go to Configurations. Click on Damage. And then just make the value for 100. So it's a one-touch kill. Let's play our game. And there comes a zombie. Boom, we died. So as soon as these parts are removed, that's our character removing event that gets fired. There we are. We're kicked. So you were kicked from this game. You died. All righty, we'll leave. Let's go back to our kick manager. Oh, let's make our billboard GUI. Yeah, that's what we want to do. So when we make a billboard GUI, add a part to the world, build the GUI there, and then we're going to add it to the characters. So I'm going to close that zombie thing there on the part billboard GUI. Cool. Billboard GUI, you're going to move it up so that it's above, um, it's above the part or the character. So studs offset is what you want. Increase on the Y by 2.5. Now you can see that outline. It's a little bit above the part. Cool. Let's add a text label. The text label. Let's see, let's make it background transparency to one. Uh, background color, no, we don't want that. want that. We want to change, ooh, font. I'll make it cartoon. Label, that's okay. We're gonna change the, uh, the text in a script. I think I'll make the text color yellow though. All right, and then Scale text, make it a little bigger. Um, stroke transparency. I think I'll make that zero, but then I'll make it white. There we go. White, is that good? Yeah, white's good. All right, let me add a script to this. Now, the billboard GUI is going to be seen by everybody, and you don't have to worry about buttons or anything, so I'm just going to put a script on that, server script. And let's call that... I like to name my scripts because if there's an error, you can see it. I'll name it a uh, timer label because this is going to show us how long we've been in the world. All right, so we need to get the label LBL script.parent. And I'm going to initialize the label to starting dot dot dot. And I'm going to need a variable for the seconds that I've been in the world. So I'll just say, I'll start out with zero of my local function, time in world, 
I'll do a while loop, while true do, then I'll do my LBL text equals in world colon dot dot, that's a string concatenator, and I'll do seconds. There it is, seconds. I need to get my seconds and then add one to them. So every iteration of the loop will add one second, and then I need to wait one second in between loop iterations. Let's wait one second before we call the function. What is that time in world? There we go, time in world. All right, now we have that going. Let's get that billboard GUI and drag it on down to server storage. We don't need the part anymore. Um, go to our kick manager. There we go, open that up. And let's add it to our player when they enter the game. So I need my server storage, game get service, server storage. From server storage, I'm gonna get my billboard and ss wait for child bill board gui all right now do local function on character added right and when the character gets added then we'll add the the gui to his head so what do i need i need i don't need a player all I need to do is clone that thing. I'll just say local B GUI for billboard GUI. Billboard clone. Then I already have my character, so I can just say B GUI um, parent equals char. Oh, char head. I want to put it on the head. Sweet. Oh, we have to call this. So we have our player on player added. Let's call it there. We're going to connect it to the character added event on character added. There we go. Whoops, two extra parentheses. All right. So when we add a character, when, when we when our player enters a game, we're going to add these two events. Um, we're going to add these two event handlers to these two events. Good, 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 good. What else do we need to do? Anything? Oh, we still need to kick the character though, right? Do we do that? Ah, no, we have it. We're good. Everything is looking good. Let's try it. That was pretty easy. Well, seven minutes, a little more than seven minutes. There we go, we're in the world. Ah, we died. So it keeps going until the parts are removed. So we are still technically in the world. There we go, we're kicked. We leave, if we go back in, it's gonna start all over again. All right, ah, boom, cool beans. All righty, I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next video.